and welcome my fellow scouts, I am Mecca of Scouts for Entertainment here, glad to have you here with me on a Napoleon Total War 3 4v4 battle replay today. Today's replay was posted to me by Johnny LaBuffin, his allies are Dabos, uh, Five Ones, Smoke Grenadiers and Apple Truce. Their opponents today are Nash 22, Sniper Smith Huck, Flux and Busty Pigeon. We are on the map here today, Saxony 2. Now if you want to see your own replay feature here on this channel, actually before we get into that we'll go through the factions first. We have Iran here in front of us, which I believe is Johnny's army here. His first ally is back here, which is France, or French Guard, French Imperials, however you want to say it. But we've also got over here, France 1807-1814, Espana. And what else do we have? I've already covered those two, those two. Hang on. Oh yeah, here we are. There's France, Italy. France 1796, Italy. I can see some of their opponents already. We have Russia, 1812. We have... Here, Monsardinia, at 1796, and we have Helagis Romanicus Reich over the Holy Roman Empire. Now, Johnny really fears this faction in particular. Apparently, they have really, really good infantry. If used properly, they can steamroll over basically anybody, even if he were, even if you're France, 1809, 1812. So, even if you have the best faction of in the game, apparently, Pierre Monte can actually give you a run for your money if you're not careful. So, watch out for that in the future. Learn from Johnny's warnings. We have here Espana 811-1814. We actually versed um, Pierre Monter today and it definitely lived up to Johnny's fears. It was a hard faction to go up against. Johnny was convinced that had he engaged fully, they would have um, overwhelmed our position ages ago. But I won't spoil too much more than that. You'll see that battle another time. We have... I think five one pointers and three one pointers. Actually, six one pointers, three one pointers. So it's nine points so far, and eight there. That's seventeen points today. So a lot of points up for grabs here. Usually, I think we'll see all four armies go go at it, and maybe if things get desperate, we'll see them sort of break off and try and gain points and snatch victory away from the other towards the end, possibly. There are a lot of points up for grabs, mostly in the north. So that's where we'll see the most contention. Now Iran here seems to be going in. They're charging down some skirmishes which are undefended. Got some trees to go through but it doesn't slow them down which is fortunate for him. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Oh, the artillery already firing maybe. Yeah, yeah, general stopping isn't really frowned upon, so if you see a general enemy general, maybe go for it. It's not the same as Rome 2, as far as I'm aware. So make sure you check with other players, though, if they have that rule or not. I won't get you in trouble later on. Now, Iran's cav way out front. It's just a one pointer. Maybe Johnny's just seeing the boundaries of where the red team is. France is actually bringing up his cav to support him. His army is at least 10 minutes away. Johnny himself is at least 5 minutes away from engaging Spain's forces. And it looks like Iran might try to just uh, engage Spain over here. But he needs France to really move on the right and shore up his right flank. This river, I reckon, does help to a degree. But um, the enemy, or both, both players, I should say, can fire across it if they get in too close to one another. But, you know, to a degree, this does provide Johnny some protection on his right flank. But France should set up a couple units just over here to monitor the road, make sure their opponents don't try to outflank him. Over here doesn't really have much of an issue. They've got the border boundary of the game, of the map. So Spain can't really go that far, can't go that way around him. And around just seeing where Spain is or isn't. He's getting in close. These calves in enemy territory. We got Russian forces on the road. Cav, well, I was going to say, was moving over, but they're not moving at the moment. This is the elite Kerasiri. And some Russian grenadiers. That, well, can and can't form square. We have three grenadier units. Players will usually want to charge these guys into melee combat. Don't really want to try and get into a prolonged shooting engagement. That's not why people will really bring grenadiers. 
Spain did not put his left flank as unit that can form square. This unit though can form square, but they didn't form square. And Iran took an opportunity there and charged straight into them before they could react. Spain's in a bit of strife. Iran, it would seem, has blood to spill. They took down a lot of Spanish cavalry in that charge there. And they routed them. I did not anticipate that. France is arriving with reinforcements. Russia's trying to get away. Oh, the, the, the Groons are leaving. They're broken. They're trying to overwhelm the Russians here and break the elite cavalry. France and Iran look like they have the numbers to do it. It's just in the distance. Spain coming to the rescue. Just when Russia needed them most. Now France got a good side charge into the Spanish cavalry. They, they might break. Yeah. He pulled them out. And that's when they broke. Now they're making sure they don't come back. Okay, Russians. Oh, Russians broke. Now France will move forth and destroy them. Grenadiers are moving to try and save what's left of them. But I think France will be able to dispatch them to a degree before they can reach the infantry. Oh, wait. They pulled back. Oh, that's letting the Russians off. In my opinion. So, we've got a small breather around our hands here. And so, if you want to see your own Napoleon Total War 3 replay feature here on this channel, you can send them to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can post them to me directly on my Discord Scouts for Reconnaissance into the Battle Replay sub channel. Or you can send the replay via private message on the Discord as well. My ID is in the description below. Or you can tag me in any Napoleon Total War 3 replay you post on the Napoleon Total War Discord as well. I have various funding options available if you'd like to support my work. Does really help out the channel and the Discord. But if you're really help out with the YouTube algorithm, then make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Click that bell for notifications so you never miss a fight. Make sure you leave a comment, as it is greatly appreciated and does support the video as well. So, Russia is trying to link up with Spain here, so they want to hold this area. This would give them better field position over Johnny's forces. France would have to move around here probably in order to effectively challenge both Spain and Russia and help Iran out. There's not a lot of room here for Iran and France they want to form up a battle line here. See Russia and Spain can essentially link up into sort of like a, a cup formation. You know they're drawing a wine glass cup formation and they can just sort of shoot at the forces as they funnel in through that gap towards them. It's a better field of fire for the red team and it could be what the Russian player is thinking. Now we've got a lot of enemy cav here in their rear. But Spain and Russia can both handle that by putting a couple of units that can form a square behind their lines and make, just leave them in square formation. And so when the cavalry does charge in, they get caught on those squares. And potentially, and I guess the red players will be keeping their fingers crossed, break before they can do any real damage to their main battle lines. Now Russia should have some more cav, hopefully he does. France has one unit, which is pretty much nothing compared to his enemies. Okay, Iran's army has arrived. They're forming up as we speak. Roman Empire and Sardinia are forming up, like, up here against the French Guard and French Italians, or French Italians. I believe. Oh no, French Espana. So France Espana might be trying to go it alone here. Okay, he's, he's heading towards his allies, as he should. He's going to get double teamed if he tries to engage. Now, what the red team players should do, what Sardinia and Roman Empire should probably do right now, is charge in the combined cavalry might, smash what's left, or smash all of Spain's, France and Spain's cavalry. And since we see the Russian forces here, they should move to block their retreat to their allies. 
At the same time, Roman Empire and Sardinia, cavalry sweeps in from the rear and charges France's rear. At the same time, Russia rushes forward with their infantry. They could surround and choke the life here out of the French Spanish player. And so, an attempt to actually link up with these allies, he's retreated backwards where he will find France, Italy, and the French the Guard enemy. forces. Now, he might have already called for cavalry enforcements, but I don't see any heading his way. Now, fortunately for him, it looks like Roman Empire and Sardinia are going to let him go. I'm not going to try and pursue him. So, yeah, that's fortunate there for him. Okay, Roman Powers arrived on the scene with their cavalry, charged into the French. They're trying to deal with this French menace in their rear. First attempt though has failed. France is victorious. Which is a little surprising considering France is so far away from their army. And this is probably misguided. Russia should have tried to preserve their cavalry. And fallen back to their allies. Okay, looks like we see Iran's cavalry charging into Roman empires. Our men are running for Yeah, so what I was trying to think of was the Russian players just falling back and growing, linking up and growing what's left of their cavalry might out of a whole red team. To try and challenge and overthrow Spain's dom sorry, France's dominance on the battlefields so far. This is interesting. A little misguided. We got here artillery, some eight pounders, jeez. And a four pounder. We got three units here. These are the three grenadiers we saw earlier. Firing cluster shot. All four cannons. They get fire. They fire one more shot. They're done. They actually broke before they got to the cannons. Now the artillery should be able to pound these units. It caused a significant amount of casualties, but they still might reform and come back. There's every chance of that. Might be out of range for cluster shots, so they might be switching back to cannonballs. Looks like Russia and Spain there in the distance are moving towards Iran's main force. No, they're not firing. They must have shifted targets. Yeah, they did. They're shooting at the one target that's not routed or broken. Okay, it looks like they reformed. I don't know. They're still saying routed. Okay, the other units just come back. Iran shifting their artillery over. Good hit. That's Spain's army there in the town. Cases are all firing now. Oh, 
Oh, they spread themselves out a bit more. We've got that many rifles, so there's a bunch of them standing around not doing anything. Stretching out their lines theoretically should enable more of the troops to fire their weapons. Six, only one casualty there, and ten there. So, Iran's struggling. Rice is forming up in the forest. Russia can't afford to get drawn into the battle. It's always got to keep an eye there on that French cavalry. It's got to be plaguing him. This unit will offer some protection, but not much. They can't form square. They can't counter a cavalry charge. It'll buy them some time, but that's it. Iran moves up their fort pan, but a bit too close. France is divvying up their army, putting it either side here of Iran. We're trying to fill gaps. Meanwhile, we got here France, Espana, France, Italia. Okay, so the French government must be going to help Iran. Italia's moved his force to support Spain, the French Spanish army. Most of the Russian army appears to be over here. It's a big ask there on Spain to fend off two factions with a small Russian contingent. The Red Team's put a lot of chips in their basket on this one. It's like two and a half against two here. Roman Dragoons looking for a mark. No dice. Could be a successful charge. No, he's going to pull back. Alright, nothing happened yet. I saw on the map, I thought we saw some blades touch, some units crash into each other. Alright, Iran set up their attack on the town. They're retreating. Reinforcements standing by to take their place. Cavanardi. Looking to keep more well, keep French forces here at bay, stop them from moving forwards. Spain's withdrawn. This will probably force around to push up their line. Russians are going to do something here as well. Can't really afford to stay where they are. Plus, if you're around, you'd probably want to be targeting Spain's forces because you can hit two ranks of troops. Don't take casualties that fast where they are. I'm 
Looks like the Spanish Artie there on the right side of the screen took out one of the French units, at least a large chunk of them. If it keeps going like this, I don't see the red team surviving it. They appear to be outnumbered. In quality and quantity. Now, it's a, this is a bold move here from France. What's he thinking? What's he planning? He's getting in front of Iran here. He's going to need Ron to step up, and Ron is stepping up. He's making sure France doesn't move around that building and attacking in the rear. It looks like France, España, and French, Italy have engaged their opponents. We'll head there momentarily. Shots. Got three Spanish units here, not two. One's heavily depleted though. Whereas most of the French troops are looking pretty healthy. Okay, a million of they just broke. We've got some cavalry moving up. He's going after the artillery. There's no counter to, to this. Only the general's nearby. The froze a little bit there. It sometimes happens randomly when I'm around the buildings. I don't know why. There's no fix for it. I don't know if Iran could have pulled out of here, but if he could have, he should have. Taken the win and preserved his cavalry force for another strike. Yeah, Spain is taking massive casualties. Spain's here actually protecting Russian infantry. Alright, how are we going over here? Oh, well, battle really hasn't, I suppose, begun. There's no heavy fighting. Kind of makes you wonder what the red team's waiting for here. It's possible they're waiting for Sardinia to move and push up on the left flank. Russia, though, is going to move with them. If their intention is to fold this line towards this direction, then Russia and Sardinia need to move up together and push France back towards the town. The Roman Empire's lines are a little bit disorganized. They've got gaps here. Not moving up as one cohesive line. We got Grenadiers doing what Grenadiers do best, move into suicidal positions. Why is he doing that? Looks to be a small win there for the red team. They took out a 12 pounder crew. Good for them. Yeah, so Dinian's really got to move up. He might be, moving, might be moving as fast as he can. But there's also a bit of pressure here on the Roman Empire to ensure that they don't retreat back to Iran and the French Guard, I believe. A 
What do we have here? France left their artillery behind. Must be asleep. No, no, he's trying to pull out. They're walking, they're fresh. He probably needs to bayonet charge him. Yep, he's going for it. The cavalry here. Alright, they took out the Arty and can outflank Spain France now, sorry. They can outflank French the French Italian player. They got a unit directly on their left flank. So things are looking a little bit dire here. For French Italy and French Spain. Roman Empire's moving around, but their line again is not a cohesive line. There's, there's a lot of gaps to it. It's like the the, the, the chance of applying maximum pressure is there. He's just not in the position to take advantage of it. Like, we've got units horribly out of position over here. We've got reserves. We shouldn't have reserves, probably, in at the moment. This is the red team's moment here to knock out two of their enemy teams. Instead, they're approaching it in a way that buys the blue team players some time for Iran and French Guard to deal with Spain and what's left of the Russian forces over there and get over here to try and save what's left of their teammates. Sardinia's moving up, Russia isn't moving up with him. You gotta move up with your allies, you gotta make sure your allies are on the same page as you. Our men are running, sir. Look, even in voice chat I can attest to how hard it is. My allies got frustrated with me and I got frustrated with them. But communication is key to victory. France here, got a surprise charge on the Roman Empire Cavalry. Roman Dragoons versus French Dragoons. Our men are running for It's like the French player needed the surprise on his side. Killed a few of them, but looks like he still might lose the fight. Sardinia is definitely applying a lot of pressure on his side. Russia letting the valve open a little bit. Roman Empire also. Although it's Roman Empire's credit, he is getting troops behind enemy lines so they make sure they can't fall back. But, you know, he's got to spread out. He's got to get his reserves into the fight. I get why he's leaving the infantry back behind the cannon. He also doesn't want to kill his infantry. But the infantry here should move up. To the right of the cannon, this one to the left. Move together. Look, if Sardinia and Russia don't move in fast enough, Roman Empire will probably lose these units. I mean, he's got a lot of enemy coming his way. Alright, let's head back over here and see how this fight's going. France has surrounded... France and Iran have surrounded Russian forces here in the forest. It's a total surround. There are any troops on all sides surrounding the Russians here. They're about to get pulverized. The 
men are fatigued, but must rest of them. A few troops here and there falling. Alright. Spain's fallen back. He'll be worn down through attrition. I don't see a way for Spain to get out of that. But how will the blue team get out of this? We're being surrounded. Roman Empire has improved. He's got his trips, unfortunately, in his artillery and they're killing some of his own men. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But Roman Empire is applying a lot of pressure here on France. He did really well to get his troops behind enemy lines and set up like that. Both these units here can form square, there's cavalry standing by. Roman Empire wants to move in, but he can't. If he tries to, they'll form square, they'll cast that cavalry there. And then those cavalry will be done, and Roman Empire needs that cavalry to be used at a later time. Russia's now moving up. This would be a good spot just to leave it for a little bit. Good hardy shot there. Roman Empire has pretty much destroyed the French Italian player. I think the French Espana player has been forced away from his ally. There's nothing he can do for him. He is finished. He can't rescue him. If he tries to, he'll get caught in the same trap and he'll be finished. French Espana needs to stay alive as long as he can and find a, a better defensible position that allows him to hold out for as long as he can as the Rhine and French Guard make their way to them. The of the must now Spain, facing off against the Rhine and France, is doing very, very well. He's, he's keeping those forces tied up for a very long time. He might be the sacrificial player, but he's definitely serving his part. We've got cavalry potentially going in. This unit can't form square. Might get a good charge on. Anything he can do to keep the enemy at bay. That's what he needs to do. Well, cavalry's only lost 12. This unit should probably charge in or get out of there. They're in range. Come on, man. Get out of there. Got his infantry firing on that unit. Ooh. A couple went down there. No gaps opening up, troops collapsing. Alright, Spain will retreat. He'll, he'll shoot and fall back. I can't remember what they called it in... Um Jeez, there was, was that book, Journal of a Sniper or something, Journal of a Foot Soldier. I can't remember. Rifleman, Rifleman Harris. Stories of Rifleman Harris, I think. Yeah, 
It was like a shoot and fall back action. It's like shoot, retreat, set up, shoot, retreat, and so forth. It's like leapfrogging. A leapfrog retreat, essentially, is what it was. The man that's what I'm of getting at. Well, Iran, the French guy, did achieve victory here, but it was costly here for the blue team. The cab needs to mop up the Spanish infantry. We've got one unit here still in action. These units will come back if he's not careful. And they can form a square, so he's got to be wary of that. The French Grenadiers. A decent unit. There we are. There's a lot of troops he has to finish off. He has to kill. Town, maybe, as a last resort. I haven't seen too many Denmark cavalry. And where are the Russian forces going? The Roman Empire sending forces this way as well. There's no point, their allies toast. Red team needs to keep all their forces together. Finish off the enemy here, then move on. Not before. Got two units there. So I do need in pursuit. Grant's trying to stay alive. Now the units here can form square. Potentially could charge him. Bit of a risk to move up in column formation. This building has fallen to the enemy. Okay, they want that three pointer, it would seem. We got here an artillery crew still alive. They could break the cavalry he needs to come back and finish the job. They could eventually break on their own. I'm not saying that's not possible. It is. Iran has a lot of their troops still intact. Grant's going in for a charge. Seems to put the Russians unawares. Oh, they're going to go for the general. Oh, they possibly were thinking about it. They better do something soon before they get caught in the pincer move. You really need to think about what target he's going to go after there.
Okay, they're broken. The Russians charged in. They do what they do best. Meet their enemy with their metal. Well, they lost that one. And it was Grenadiers too, against Lion Infantry. Mm. And they were down more than 50%, but still, that's surprising. This charge that I should finish the job. Okay, broken. And France, España has found salvation. This building has fallen to the enemy. This made things very hard for the enemy to follow. We try to cross here. The, the lake here should slow them down somewhat. It definitely won't be easy to move their forces through this road. So, a little bit of a sneaky maneuver there. He slipped away. He managed to slip away. Well done. I guess that's on the head of the Roman Empire for not moving up too fast to cut off his retreat. Not to put too much blame on you there, Roman, but if you had moved up there fast enough, you could have cut off his retreat and forced him back further. But you, you and your allies could have dealt with him. But they had to face off against three blue team players now instead of two later on. What is going on? This can't be intentional. Maybe it was. Okay, Smoke Grenadiers lost his general. Unlucky to him. Maybe it was his last unit. He wanted to go with one last hurrah. Quite possible. Alright, we're in for a bit of a lull here, guys. So we'll do this one we'll cut and we'll come back soon. Alright, welcome back everyone. Grenoble was the first player to cross the river. Most of his army is going through the water. You can see it's slowing down a little bit. Jeez, the men just melted away there, didn't they? I think they're targeting the general staff. An Empire's troops there, it is. And they can't be alright, they're exhausted. Can't be right here. Oh no. They're routed. Alright. Roman Empire's got about five minutes to form an effective defense against Iran. You can use the buildings here as interference, put a couple units there behind the, the town, shoot at the um, Iranian troops if they try to come through that way. But his lines shouldn't extend any further than this town here. And then maybe just horizontally or curve this way. That's what Sardinia and Russia need to do. We've got the Russian general by himself out there. It's a little curious. What are they planning to do? Are they going to fight or are they going to retreat? This is a fire. Okay, 
can't see through the trees, obviously. No. No, I lost 130 men there. Okay, Francis Spania lives to see his allies. Not something I thought likely at one point. Here comes the French guard. He's going to take up the right flank responsibilities. And Francis Spania might be the new center. Unfortunately, the French guard can't move that much faster. You should never run your troops unless you want them to dash maybe 20 meters at most. They tire out very quickly. They become less useful to you. Exhausted, unfortunately. So Ben's going to be careful here. Probably needs to lengthen out his line. The French guard has arrived. They can set up a long fire line that should actually push Sardinia back a bit. Isn't this funny? These guys here, they're broken. Probably should send this unit here to fill up this gap to fire at the Russian troops coming this way. Maybe one go down there. No, nope. Iran's plugging his gaps. Could potentially take out the Russian general. The French Grenadier is sending a cavalry in and try and break out the Roman Empire's lines. He might succeed. Heavy cab, decent charge, no units can form a square nearby. It's a good strike. Iran and France seeing the opportunity there, moving up their forces. This could be the beginning of the end for the Red Team. Well, they broke one unit like them, I think they break another.
French Grenadiers are pulling back. Oh no, they broke. Ryan's trying to catch him. Russia's not looking so hot. France guards him up. France is spun you though. A little bit slow to move with him, but he's on the way. Oh, good hit. What is this? Sardinia charging to the rear of the French. And he has triggered a chain route. One, two, could there be a three? It is a three. Okay, so then you have there broken. Prince of Spania needs to move up. He's got to push Sardinia back a bit, relieve the pressure of the French guard. Iran is setting up support there on their left flank. Neither side is that accurate. They gotta be they gotta get closer. Our men are running, sir. Two units they're up on their own. Legion. Iran can be in a bit of strife, and Spain is not defeated as we once thought. He has arrived on scene. Still has a unit left. What's going on here? There's a bit of miscommunication with España and the French Guard. So then he went after the Iranian general. He might kill him. There he goes. Yep, Johnny's general is dead. I suppose it's fortunate that um, Iran doesn't have too many troops left. Another general has fallen, Apple Truce.
You can see one part of the French line here wavering. Same goes for Sardinia. France going for a bit of a gamble here. He thinks he can take Sardinia on. Roman Empire could close the gap on him. France has gone for a, like a victory or death approach here. An all or nothing strategy to gain the upper hand. Doesn't seem to have paid off. The French armies have literally collapsed before our eyes. This is a shock. So we see why Johnny fears beyond Sardinia, beyond their Sardinia. Okay, we're here at the final battle. It's over as soon as it began. That was the last blue pinion, I believe, on the field today. And we've got a defeat here. So, unlucky there to Johnny the Buffon. 2042 kills, the boss. 5 1s, 1334. Smoke Grenadiers, 1052. Apple Truce, 1907. Nash 22, 1124. Sniper Smithhuck, 1225. Flux, 1884. And Busty Pigeon, 1676, so awesome kill counts all around. Okay, the Gurdjistan, got 206 there. Takwana, 182. Faza, 155 and 136 and 116 and 112. 108 and 104. The rest of the units range from 87 to 4, belonging to the General. Usually, General always get the lowest kill count. But well done to Nash22 and his team on their victory today. Thank you to Johnny for sending me the replay. If you want to see your own replay feature here on this channel, once again, guys, there are four methods of doing that. One is sending it to me via email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. Third is sending it directly to my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, into the Battle Replay sub-channel. Third is sending a replay to me via direct message on Discord. My ID is also in the description below. Or you can just tag me in the Napoleon Total War 3 replay post on the Napoleon Total War 3 Discord as well. This is Mika on behalf of Scouts and Tenet signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War battle.